Hello everyone. Now we will solve one more question. That is the isometric view of a pentagonal pyramid. So pentagonal pyramid means base will be pentagon and pyramid means top will be a corner point. So it is given there like base is having the shape pentagon and the top a corner point is there and this is the shape. Now to make this again we cannot make directly it in isometric axis. We have to enclose this in a box. If I enclose this in a box base will be a rectangle and top will be again a rectangle so we will divide it again base surface top top is having a single point apex only base is a pentagon we cannot make the direct pentagon because we don't know the size of the rectangle in which we have to enclose the pentagon so for this type of question first of all we have to draw the pentagon then we actually enclose this in a box and then we will shift that on the isometric axis let's see how to solve this so first we have to draw the pentagon so whenever we have to draw any polygon polygon means n number of side so remember that there are two methods either you can go for external angle or you can go for internal angle so external angle the formula is 360 divided by n the number of side so this is a pentagon so you can say 360 divided by 5 5 side pentagon so when you divide it will be 72 and internal angle that is 180 minus 360 by n so you can use any of the angle external or internal so this is 180 minus 360 by this is pentagon so 5 360 by 5 72 so this is coming 108 so you have to take any angle either the internal angle or the external angle external angle 72 internal 108 so in every polygon hexagon pentagon any polygon use this method and find out the angles so first we will draw the pentagon first so pentagon is having base edge 40 mm so first we will take the base edge 40 now i'm making the actual pentagon with same dimensions so this is 40 done with the exact dimensions now i'll take the protector the internal angle is 108 so i will put the zero here now from this side i will measure the angle so this is coming 108 so this is a point i got and on this again i will cut the 40 1 2 3 4 so this is 40 we draw this line then after that you can rotate the sheet again you have to take the protector here mark this point as zero now from this side you have to take 108 so i'm taking 9108 so you got this point after that again i have to cut the side 40 2 3 4 so it is coming here it is intersecting what i have written i will erase that now you can rotate the sheet in the same direction use rotate the sheet in the same direction so that you can have the exact same angle 108 so after that again 108 so this is the point and now you have to mark again 40 or 40 so done and after that you can join the last edge now we have to draw this pentagon in the isometric axis we cannot make this directly first of all we have to enclose this in a box so what to do from the base you can extend the line i don't know the length i have just extended the line then from this vertical extend the line exactly vertical done and from this also i mark the line exactly vertical and from this top i mark the line exactly horizontal so by doing this what i get i got a rectangle so i am giving the name to the rectangle let's say this is one two three and this point is four right so our pentagon is inside the rectangle one two three four so in the isometric axis first we draw this rectangle then we will copy and paste the same pentagon i'll tell you how to make that so first we will draw the isometric axis 
as we draw in this all the questions so this is the ground line this is the O point very light line because all these are the construction lines so 30 angle on this side 30 on this side and 90 upward always take care about each and every mm degree in isometric diagrams otherwise your diagram will not be having the perfect dimensions perfect shape so be very accurate in while taking the dimensions so this is x axis open arrowhead because we can extend the line x y z very light line i can give the value of angle standard angle for this isometric axis this is also standard angle now we have to draw the same so this is, will be very easy it will hardly take one two minutes you have to follow the same step now what i am doing just try to understand this o point let's say this point here uh, no need to draw just to teach me i am making this let's say this is the reference point o same right now i will start copying from this point go in this direction and i will mark the point on this same if this is the o i teach you if this is the point o this will be what x axis this will be what y axis just to teach you i am marking this no need to mark this in exam ox this axis all dimension coming on ox i'll mark here all dimension coming on y i will mark here okay similarly we will get this point so i'll teach you so from this zero from the zero this is the point 2 on ox so i mark the point 2 on ox got the point after that from this zero the point 4 on oy so i am taking the point 4 on oy so i get this point 4 this point 2 now i have to reach the point 3 so how can i reach the point 3 i will give the numbering here but you should not give uh, after that i will erase this i have taken o4 o2 this is o4 o2 now i have to reach to 3 point so if i take the distance from 2 to 3 with the compass i have taken the distance you can see here i have taken the distance from 2 to 3 open the compass copy now paste it here from 2 i don't know the length of this arc so i will make a bigger arc wherever it will come last arc i can erase so from 2 i have marked the arc for 3 now same from 4 i will mark the arc for 3 so this was the 4 point take the arc for 3 so from this 4 point I will take the arc for 3 so I got the intersection point so this point is the closing side of rectangle either you can mark these arcs very light so that we have no need to erase them so this is the best way you can leave all the lines in your diagram if you make them very light and then we have what we have done we have taken the outer rectangle on the isometric axis right now we will copy the same pentagon here how will we copy we will start from this point so on ox these two corners are coming so mark from this one one or we can say o you have taken this distance right so from this zero mark this distance then after that from this zero mark this distance from this zero mark this distance remember that always when you are copying and pasting take the distance from the corner of the rectangle remember this why this rectangle is having 90 degree but this is having 120 degree if you take the distance in between the edges you cannot take that remember this thing your diagram will be perfect only when you take the distance from the corner of the rectangle it means let's say i have to mark this distance now i will take the distance from 2 to 3 means in the direction of this not from this corner right so i mark this so from this point from this two point I mark this point then after that from three i have taken this distance so from three this was the three this distance right and on this side also from this point it was on oy so from this point I get the point Y. Now I get all the five points. Now I can join them and I can make them dark because this is the pentagonal pyramid. 
okay okay I, i'll make it dark later on so that uh, I, i can teach you which part should be dark so first i'm making it light i have made this dark but uh, just to teach you i'm making light later on i'll tell you how to decide which part should be dark which part should be light now i'm joining all those points only which are coming so remember that this pentagon it will have the distorted shape every time when we tilt the object at 30 degree it will not have the all the sides now the same height of uh, side of that 40 it will not have 40 40 it will be distorted when you tilt the object at 30 degree angle uh, for isometric axis it will have the variation in dimension of edges so this is the thing after that what we do it is a pyramid means at the top it will have a apex single point so for that reason the two methods are there either you can take the box upward then find out the midpoint or you directly take the midpoint of this base and take the height so you can follow anyone let's say i am here doing this method find out the midpoint of base so this is what i will measure this yeah it is coming exactly 60 so i will mark 30 here and it is also 60 so i mark 30 here then on this side again i will measure it is coming 65 so 32.5 this point and here also 32.5 so this point now i have to join them very light just the construction line because we want the midpoint of the base then and here also so with this i got the midpoint midpoint of the base okay i have told you either you can take the box upward and find out midpoint of the top of square or rectangle or you can find out this and directly from this you can take the height now why what is the height given that is 60 so from this point exactly parallel to z axis we can take the height that is 6 so this is the point i got as the height now this is the apex point now from this point i have to join all the base corners right means from this point i will join this it will be dark because it will be coming okay i will make it first light and then later on i will discuss which part will be dark so every corner i am joining here with the apex because this is what this is a pyramid like this and like this also right now after that we have to decide if i give you a pentagon now you can see the sides which are coming outside just try to imagine like a 3d a filled object with the material so this edge will be dark base edge this edge will be dark and it is coming also out so this base edge will also be dark this edge will be dark because it is also coming outside what this thing now this edge it will be light because it is hidden not visible now we will join the same base corners which are coming out so this point after that we have to join this point And then we will join this point similarly this point right this point is from the back side so this is the pentagon pyramid now we will do the dimensioning uh, it will have the dimension to one base edge because one base edge is given again i'm taking these extension lines you can see this extension line parallel to oy rules are same all extension lines for dimensioning extension lines parallel to any of the axis then we can give 10 mm gap between object line and dimension line and this is the base edge and it is given there that is 40 how to give the height so from this mid you will extend the line this is extension line parallel to ox and from the height from this point apex take the extension line just like this then all these two lines parallel to x axis now height is parallel to z axis so this will be the height so take care of and understand the method of giving height to the object 
height from the base, center of the base to the apex so this is the height and height is given 60 so I'm taking the line system like this and below the diagram I'm giving the name that is isometric view